Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. So, beautiful. In the shade, not so much. <laughs> and it's time we started lighting the fires. It's not that cold at night, but it is getting chilly. Um, we have had them on for the past couple of nights, so we do need to keep it going now because we're not just heating the air, we're wanting to heat the structure to keep it warm. So uh, I better chop up some more kindling. Now Paco we buy the wood from, um, I'm sure you saw, remember we did a tour and Lillian did an advert for him. He, he gives us this, if you want more you have to pay for it, but uh, we're lucky we don't need to use that much. But he used to buy it from a shoe place where they did the moulds for making shoes, so we have high-heeled wood <laughs> and such like. He now doesn't buy it from there, he gets it from somewhere else that makes pallets, I believe. That's correct, yes. So it's got, at least I might have weird shapes like this to chop. So I'm going to do this. Now I'm a butcher. I'm used to using the meat cleaver. I'm not very good with this this machine. It's also not very sharp. It's old as I don't know how I know, long. I know, I need to... Uh, get it sharpened really yeah we don't have a sharpening stone so I'm guessing I'll have to put, get a grinder to it with a metal disc and and just do it a bit but as long as you do it right it doesn't hurt <laughs> there another little shoe well I'm pleased to say I've still got on my fingers I've got some kindling cut up uh, that should last us a few days because if you remember we need to be lighting fires in the caves as well so that's how we're going to be using it all up right I better get some more wood brought in and uh, add to our stock inside look at the view <laughs> it's quite blue yes don't listen to the window because that's naughty wind Right, what we're going to do is bring our little barbecue back down uh, so we can use it again. So we travelled it all the way up here from down in the patio for the filming. Yes. And now we're going to take it back down so we can use it. Yes. Yeah. Because we don't really have a nice spot to sit here that's kind of shaded. It is nice when the sun just gets a bit round, but it's not shaded and sheltered from the wind as much, even though down there isn't either. Bit of a rubbish thing to say, but I said it. <laughs> Should we just leave this here then? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll do that. Ooh. Oh no, I thought it was rain. It's not. Ah, oh, thanks. I've just got a face full of that. Barbecued my lady. Jess. Okay, so get this down, get it all set up again, and then bring some of this burny stuff down and make ourselves a log pile. Okay. Carried it down in a wonder. That was good. Yes, the ultimate lazy guys. I know. And now we've got to chop it all up again. To allow for this floor difference. Yeah. If I get this side done first, if, if, could you get the uh, spirit level, please? Yes. And then we can... Okay. Bit of overkill with a spirit level for a temporary barbecue top. Oh yeah. People don't expect anything less than professionalism. <laughs> and so, loveliness. There we go. Yes. So we don't have another one of these that's not broken. Uh, Eventually I'll get proper tiles on it, so I'm not that bothered, to yeah. be fair. Yeah. Uh, right, I'll get the machine down. Yes. And get that placed. Nice. Cheers. Will those lights be in the way of the heatness? No. No, cool. the, the wind is actually work wearing them off and all the lime wash we've done. Oh, so it is, it's scraped it. Yeah, it's scraped it. <coughs> So I the LEDs are all scratched and scraped as well. I thought it was shadow and it's not. It's, no. it's 
Okay. You and your pretty lights. Sorry. So look, Chris has undone the lights that were going up that way. Look at those marks. I know they've been sanded down on one side as well. They've actually scored into the wall. We so have had a few mm, days. Yeah. yeah. Bad weather. Wind. Okay, so I'll just chuck them over there. Okay. Ah, go away. Don't like you anymore. I painted that wall. And, it's you can and I can just it paint again. it some more. It's not a biggie. Feels like home again with the barbecue down here, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. Uh, so that's all good. Snake's not going to go in. It might go into that air vent there, but it's meshed and then there's another air vent, so that'll be all right. Uh, right. Yeah, we'll give that a clean once we're ready to use it. There's no point in cleaning it now and then it getting dirty again. Yeah. So the table that was under there, which we've got to work on, is now under here. That's out of the way. Yes. And we're now going to make this lovely big clean area and mess by filling it with wood. First load. Yes. Put it here. But leave enough space in case we need to place the gas bottle. Yeah. We shouldn't do because it's more or less full. <laughs> First load done. Yeah. The boys are really confused. They're just following the wheelbarrow around. Dover's back to his, I love the wheelbarrow. Let me taste it. And he's going to be going up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll get, I'd say another three wheelbarrow fulls. Okay. For this size. Yes. And big ones. And then we'll get, use the trucks for the other stuff around the other side. Because we can't get to that little barrow. Yeah. And then get some smaller ones. Okay. Alright, there we go. We only ended up using, what was it, three barrows? Yeah. Yeah. We just, that's three oil barrowfuls. And that's two of the, the true things, the black things that we've seen as mixed stuff in. And there's kindling. It should last a long time because it's not that cold. But as I said, we are lighting fires now just to take the edge off and to start warming the the building as of, uh, I think that's the best way to describe it. The land, especially down in our living room, which is underground, same as a cave, but it's got an upstairs, unlike a cave. Good job well done. Yes. We are set and organised. Yes, indeed. We have plenty of wood inside the caves for lighting that other fire. Yes. So we don't need to use, to get more there. It's pointless getting more there. It would be better to get some more when that has been exhausted. Yes, yeah. Yeah, we'll no, it's all good. We're, we're set up now. Yes. We will now continue to light, as Chris said, a fire in the caves because we've got to make sure that it doesn't get cold in there. It isn't cold, but we, might, we can't let it do that. No. And obviously, I like a nice roaring hot fire of an evening. However, yesterday evening, Chris lit a fire and it was lovely in there. And at one point I went, can I open the door please? It's too hot in here. <laughs> I'm there in t-shirt and shorts and a fan that you use in the summer, one of those hand <laughs> ladies fans, because I was just melting. Really weird, hazy morning. It's actually quite cold. Yes. This is home. This is the other side of the patio. We've got the kitchen, out, kitchen down here laundry room and what have you and this is the problem that we have to tackle yeah. now we put plastic down to try and stop the water ingress a long time ago the problem is this is painted with a plastic paint that uh, is allegedly designed for this i don't know what it's like under there but it's going to take some prep work to get this sorted out. Isn't it? Yeah. And there's cracks everywhere. And there's a nice fall on this side. Mm -hmm. It seems quite a bit flatter that side. We don't know. I can't remember. But we've got to do this before we can tackle the kitchen underneath. Yes, because we have got water ingress. There's no point putting a nice new kitchen in down there and then having it ruined with water. Yeah. 
But this was all cleaned off and painted with the specialist paint two years ago. No more. Three years ago. I will tell you even longer than that. I can't remember now. It's been so long. But this is supposed to have fibres in it, but I don't see any fibres in it. Anyway. Right, let's get this. Polythene up polythene the wall underneath it. Yeah. So you can see here where this was put down specifically because the way the paint has cracked here, there's a crack in the tiles. You, when you see what it's not the standard tile pattern, that's actually where there are cracks in the tiles. And that's where we've got water going in underneath. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, this is actually where a lot, most of the water comes in. So it's all the way along. Yeah. And all down there. And we actually get water coming in down here. Well, this is the white one. So it's not just because it's red and the heat has got worse. No, I that's... white stuff up. It's just come off. That was really, really expensive, special stuff. Ah, there you go. There's a, there's a classic. There's a whole tile. But it's actually cracked down the middle. There's seven or eight of those. Never mind some wriggly ones as well. But this is a mess. Yes. So, how's it going? Mm. Steadily. But well, it's coming off. It's just difficult because we didn't we didn't set ourselves up with the correct tools before we started. We just got on. So it's actually now I've got a brush and everything, it'll be a lot easier, I think. Uh, yeah. I don't know. This is uh, a much bigger job than we uh, sat there and decided it was. Yeah, fair point. How's it going? Oh, it's great fun. Just how I like to spend my day. <laughs> it's actually, there's some patches that have taken really well. It's a bugger to get it off. And other bits you can just scrape along and it just comes off in sheets almost. Yes. So I'm going over one pass and Lillian's following up behind because I've got a big scraper. These are actually for when we were doing the plasterboarding. We're no longer doing plasterboarding, so we're using them as a scraper scraper. And also, if we do do plasterboarding, we need some new ones anyway, because look at the state of that. Yes. So. so I'm going over and doing this. Look how well down it is. I think what it is, is that these terracotta tiles are just too smooth for the paint to adhere to. Well, we're not doing anything today, it's too windy. Much, much, much too windy. Uh, I've just heard a loud bang. It's blown the table. Crikey. <laughs> Thankfully. The glass hasn't broken. Wow, tough and safety glass. Oh, sorry, Dover mate. Should I say what else he's done? I've got to fix this. I can't believe it lifted the glass off its suckers. That is mad. Okay, so I put it all there. I've just moved the chair from 
on the door. <sighs> Look at that. I'm guessing that was the glass that's done it. This needs a new panel now. <sighs> when we had these doors made, they suggested we had a glass panel down here. I am so glad we did not. Oh dear. Right. Go back in and wait for the next thing to happen. Wind's getting worse. It's bad. I just heard a loud bang, went out to see what it was. It's blown the cement mixer over. I can't believe it. It's I think it's the strongest wind we've had since we've been here. And we've had some strong wind. Well, that's just crazy. <laughs> oh, William's not back from uh, uh, John's out. Hopefully she'll be okay when she uh, starts heading back. Because I think this could uproot some trees, especially the palms. And the way it's blowing the electric cables for the electricity supply okay and there were no power as well in that, that big thick cable there is uh electricity that's the mains electric that's swaying around nicely and silly loki was out in this so i brought him in just in case any flying uh, flying things that might decide to want to attack him Wow, that is mad. Just waiting for Lillian to come back. Look at that. <laughs> it is so strong. Those bushes go. Oleander and whatever that purple coloured stuff is. Next morning, uh, go around and have a quick look, see if there's been any damage other than what we saw. No, no, everything seems all right there. Even the tree that I thought might have had a rest is not. No, that's good. The amount of noise that we had was terrible. I, I know it's nothing as bad as what the UK have been suffering. But at the same time, it's bad for here. Now I had to put concrete blocks against that gate. <coughs> <coughs> this stuff last night was coming off. I just nipped out and bent some of the tinsley metal around and then put these here. I need to repair this, it was damaged with the forklift. Uh, we decided against fixing it straight away because uh, it may get damaged with the forklift another time. So everything else seems okay. I'll just go and check the roof of the house to see if there's anything there. Or something not there that should be there, actually, which is more the point. Uh, okay, we've had um, how many? One. We've had maybe three tiles drop down. <clears throat> it's the way they've been. The way it's the way the the laid it. It's the uh, original way. So they're only held on with gravity, hence the reason for the rocks on the front. So that's a job for another time. Or a job for somebody who can get right up there. Thanks for watching Tales from the Caveside. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Drop us a like and leave us a comment. See you on the next one.